Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have just got back from Valencia from this run here. I can't wait to show this to you guys. That is me, just a little bit happy finishing the Valencia Marathon, one of the absolute proudest moments of my running life. And I can't wait to share that whole experience with you today. So sit back, relax, let's get the Valencia Marathon done. Valencia was amazing. It meant so much to me to be crossing the finish line back under two hours 40 again. Longer term viewers of the channel know I've had some incredible highs in my running journey and also some really tough moments in not only my running and my personal life as well over the last two years. Just rolling back to like 2018, 2019, I felt like I could do absolutely nothing wrong. I ran 2.25 the very, in this very same race in Valencia. I won the South Downs Way, 50 mile, a big prestigious race here in the UK, running like 69 minutes at the Great North Run. I look back now and it was just the most fantastic time. Nothing would ever go wrong. But then we came into 2020. I broke my ankle in a stupid skateboarding accident. Had a big operation on that, had some metal work put in. Also had a hernia operation later on that year, which meant lots of recovery. I couldn't do much running, but we actually finished 2020 in a really good place. Ran about 32.30 for a 10K in just like a time trial. And life was all good again. But then came 2021 and 2022 full lockdowns were happening and my mental health just took the worst turn. Stress levels were super high, anxiety, chest pains, panic attacks, going to A&E in the middle of the night. And I just felt like I was on this runaway train that I just could not stop. But one constant that kept me through that was the amazing Sarah, who's just behind the camera here, my girlfriend, but also my running as well. My running was going okay through all of these troubles, but as my mental health got sort of worse and worse, it was just impossible to train how I wanted to train. I was just having these weird pains all through my body, picking up these injuries all the time from that muscle tension. It was just awful because then running was slowly being taken away from me as well. But like a lot of people that do have bad accidents that maybe takes one of their big passion projects away from them. They just want to get back to where they were. The surgeons that saw me at the hospital and some ankle specialists said I could never get back to do the running I wanted to do. And of course, at the time, that sent my mental health even worse, but I never gave up that dream of getting that back. And that's where this whole sort of 240 thing comes from, because at two, two hours, 40 minutes, you can qualify to run. <laughs> don't do this now off the championship start line at the london marathon it doesn't get any easier as you get older it is 240 or better you can run off that start line two days before i broke my ankle i ran a 112 at the big half and that qualifying time you can qualify for a half a championship as well would have got me just onto the championship start so from the day i broke my ankle i had this mission to get back under 240 get back on the championship start line. That, and that's where this whole sort of three and a half year project has been to get back to that level. And I tried to do this many, many times, running at the Cheshire Elite Marathon. I DNF'd after 26K, basically having some chest pains and a panic attack. Fast forward to this year, Seville, pretty much the same thing happened at about 36K into the race. And it all just blew up in my head and I had walked off the course, getting injured a week out from Comrades. And then the whole like UTMB disaster, which was just, an absolute nightmare again. But then after that, I had a bit of a turning point and it was just like, I can't carry on like this. And I just said to Sarah, like, enough is enough. So we just went away for a few days and put this big blueprint sort of plan in place, basically. I started actually going to see a proper therapist and just taking a leaf out of that 2018 Valencia Marathon, just doing sessions right outside my house in the park, doing my long runs all in the same place and just getting all of that running done. So I gave it my all over the previous 10 weeks building up to this race. I was averaging about 140K a week of running and also had a couple of fantastic experiences in Chicago. I absolutely love that race. We weren't trying to break 240 there, but nearly did. I was just feeling that good to be back racing with no pressure at all and then going on to New York, which was just another incredible experience. Much harder course, but just got a little bit faster there with about 243. But then it was time to head off to Valencia to lace up the shoes, start to believe for marathon number 78, could I finally achieve this dream that I've been trying to do since breaking my ankle and since all these troubles over the last three and a half years.
I don't think I've ever been as nervous as I was on that morning. I've been on so many marathon start lines over the years and while I was so nervous inside, I was also so reassured because really I was very, very calm about the situation. I just felt like those powers returning. I had control over my body again, which is something I just had not had over the previous few years. Valencia is such a special place. It's called the city of running for a reason because there's just so much passion for the sport there. I had my best ever run here running 225. It's always perfect, perfect weather on the day. It was cool, crisp, not a breath of wind anywhere. A lot of tension and anxiety on the start line, but also just so feeling so centered and so calm. I don't really have much recollection of the first half of the race. It was just ticking off those metronomic splits, 3.45 a K all the way through. Went through halfway in 1.19.28. Bang on where I wanted to be. And as the marathon went on, 30K, 35K, it was getting so hard as marathons do, but I was so in control of myself and I was so proud of how I was feeling. So often in the past, I'd have lost my head way before that. And I just look at my watch and these splits just kept on coming. And I was pushing harder and harder and I wasn't getting slow and then Sarah had one real goal for the day of handing me my GoPro at 41k. I then press the power button, press record, and this is what happened. Come on! I can't believe this is happening. Three and a half years of awfulness, but we're getting it done again. Come on, Valencia. I can see the finish. The magical blue carpet. My dreams are made, they're my dreams that made today. Come on! Yes! Yes! The finish is in sight! Come on! Yes! Come on! Oh my lord. That is my greatest ever run, without a doubt. Oh god. Right round in I've been dreaming of this moment since the start of 2020 when everything started going wrong. I can't believe I made it happen again. Thank you so much for all you guys never losing the faith. Thank you so, so much. You were that extra bit today. I can't thank you enough. Oh. What I feel right now. Thank you, thank you. What I feel right now is just relief. Relief. We've made it back on the London Championship start again. I've tried to do this so many times. And my head and body just hasn't been in the right place. But over the last sort of 10 weeks or so I've just put everything I can into this just thank you so much everyone <laughs> right let's go and get a medal it's going to take a while for that to sink in and hit me come on people of Spain. Temo, Temo. I love you. What a country. What a beautiful country. What a running culture. It brings them out of me. I love England. Nothing will ever beat the London Marathon. We'll be back there off championship. Come on. But Valencia, you did be proud today. You just felt the love out there on the course. All those messages, all that support. Thank you so, so much. The oranges. Merci. Gracias. Danke schön. Oh, grazie. Thank you to everybody all around the world that supports us in this. Without doubt, one of the most proudest moments can wear the getting it done again with a big smile on my face. It's been a constant battle to get back, get back to my running best. I, being honest, I probably took running for granted. I thought I could just casually do this every year. And there's one person that never lost her faith.
relax. Right guys, you're joining us back in London. It's just, like, just two or three days before Christmas. The championship entries have just opened. I'm sitting here on my laptop. I'm gonna put my entry in now. Just absolutely pumped for that. But what a race Valencia was. I think the final time was 2.38.53 or 54. My certificate says 53. The official results say 54. Who cares? It was under that time. And I was so happy with the negative split as well. 1.19.28 and 1.19.26. A two second negative split in the race. So it was just absolutely perfect. Just an incredible day out there. Right, Sarah, if you want to come round, I'm just going to get this championship entry in. So just on the let's do this website, let's see what you have to do. Apply now. Please enter your England Athletics number. You have to be a fully paid up member of England Athletics. Luckily, I did keep my membership going. <laughs> I always had faith that we would do this. We're in. Yay! Woo woo woo! Submit application. Sarah, come and zoom in. Submit up. I'm not sure why it's saying it's free. It's definitely not going to be free. But I guess you have to apply. And I'll probably send you an email saying give us some money. It'd be about seventy-five pounds. I would have thought. So that's it. Job done. We should be in the London Marathon Championship start line next year to run the marathon. We're going to go all in at London Marathon next year because we're going to be at the Expo Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday with a stand, meeting lots of you guys and showing everyone that comes down all of our running hats. Can't we do that, going to do some shakeout runs as well. We'll be in Boston just a few days before and then run at London Marathon, take the GoPro around, but most importantly, just show the world how amazing London is. So, so many times over the last three and a half years where I never thought this day would come. I never thought I'd be able to be putting my application in. And if I had quit, I definitely wouldn't be sitting here. So just the moral of this whole thing is just to keep going, whatever challenge you're facing, keep going, things will get better. Hard work and the love and support of those people around you and the community will really help you through. So thank you so, so much, guys. Never give up, have, have a wonderful Christmas, everybody out there. Look after yourself and all of those around you as well. Thank you so much for the love that you give us. Everybody just liking videos, commenting on videos, checking out the website and all that sort of stuff. Thank you so, so much. Your support means the absolute world to myself and Sarah. So we're gonna see you in 2024. It's super exciting. Keep on working hard, guys. Keep on getting it done. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.